I'm just going to get that hypnotherapist working on Ralph while uh, you and I do the news. Oh, okay. Do you think nothing's going to happen today, though? I don't know. Let me, let me just get her in here real quick. Uh, Gary, bring in the hypnotherapist so we can ask our questions. Here's Ralph, who uh, <laughs> probably had something go on in that room with the priest at a young age. He just doesn't remember it. I, re I really... I'm... I, I I know for sure nothing happened. Well, let's find out. I mean, I was weirded out and I was sick the next day, but hello, doctor. Hey, give now, her the uh, microphone. Doctor, how did we find this doctor? Ralph, do me a favor. Give the doctor a seat. And uh... okay, since when did she become a doctor? Because I said it. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Let's call her doctor. Is she a doctor? Hey, everyone's buying into it. I don't think she's a doctor. Are you a doctor? Absolutely not. Of course not, but all right, we'll call you a doctor anyway. Okay. For today, you're a doctor. All right. Hey, you're kind of cute, too. Cute. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I'll let you hypnotize Maybe me. Maybe Ralph baby. won't be able to be hypnotized. Who's the he's dude so with you? Is that your husband? Uh, no, he's not. He's, he's in training to be a hypnotherapist, and he's watching. So you're not having any sex with him? No. <laughs> Are you uh, involved with her? What? He's... Uh, have you hypnotized him because he's in a trance? Yeah, I think you might have You might have watched one too many hypnotisms, my friend. He's in a coma. No, I'm saying, are you uh, going out with her at all? Sure. What? Yeah. You are? Oh, yeah. Oh. You're doing pretty good for yourself. Who hypnotized her? Yeah. <laughs> she's pretty, is she the best looking girl you ever had? Absolutely. That's is your boyfriend? Is he telling the truth? Is yes, he, he is. He is? Oh. That's your boyfriend? Yep. Wow. Well, you're doing pretty good, pal. Yeah. I'd like to have a roll in the hay with your uh, doctor here. Yeah. <laughs> is he really in training to be a hypnotherapist, too? Yes, he is, yes. Oh. Kind of, what, what, how'd you fall in love with him? What you, he came to you and said, I want to be a hypnotherapist? No, he, he figured that out later. He did? Yeah. 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 I'd, I'd figure that out real now, quick myself. Now, did you myself. hypnotize him? To fall in love with you? No, yeah, no, no, no. I don't think he needs any help. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think she did self hypnosis. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. think I have. Yeah. I? Yeah, they've yeah, morning. Once, yeah. I don't remember. What did I do? Uh, you you hypnotize him and he doesn't remember? I don't remember. I don't remember doing it. <laughs> what did she do to you? She hypnotized you? Yep. Uh, we had a little uh, regression. Oh, the, oh. Remember? Yeah. Mr. Matty had a little problem there. Were you with a priest? <laughs> <laughs> but, can you hypnotize the guy to like make him last longer? Can you do that? Sure, yeah. You can? Yeah. yeah. You oh, can. Maybe you better be hypnotized. Yeah. Though. You're saying I could last a whole minute? <laughs> I got a whole had, list of problems. We had training for impotence, too. Really? Yeah. You didn't give that to your boyfriend, did you? No. Oh, no. no. I didn't you hit, not with her. Got to hypnotize him to push himself away from the dinner table a little bit, right? <laughs> a couple extra pounds on you, my friend. If you want to hold on to a girl like that, you got to you gotta keep yourself nice and trim. Yeah, we're working He's on losing him. weight right now. Is he really? Mm -hmm. Did you hypnotize him for not that? Not yet. He'll be even doing better Are after you? that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Marry him. He'll uh, forget all about losing weight. Right. right. He'll balloon right up. <laughs> That's right. This guy's always stay thin until you marry him. Anyway, uh, here's this, the doctor. Let me tell you the whole story. Ralph was uh, a little boy, and his I guess his old man took off on him. Oh. And his uh, yeah, it's a real sad story. No, he didn't. Well, I, let me just he didn't take off. We were trying to get rid of him. He wouldn't leave. Oh, okay. Anyway. But eventually he anyway, left. Anyway, it's a sad story. Yeah. Right. Either you try. I mean, if, if you're trying yeah. to get rid of yeah. your father, it's worse. One way or another, dad was not around, and <laughs> home. mom decided that. Uh, We've always suspected Ralph of being a bit of a homo or something. I don't know what, you know, I don't know, know that he's quite sure of what he is sexually. Yeah, we know he's, he's, oh, he's, he's in a discovery I know process. I You're not sure. Yeah, he says he's into girls. <laughs> now, anyway. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> and pre. He says uh, his mother decided to get him a male role model. So back then, I guess his mother... I don't know. Didn't know anything about priests. Couldn't well, put I it together. Well, I guess because the family I was, was go, falling apart, uh, he was yeah. going to counseling. I was going to, you know, I went to Catholic school, and the, this father was a counselor there. Yeah. And so anyway, the father says to the mother, I know how to cure him. Get him out of his depression. <laughs> give him a fishing trip. Let's uh, give him a fishing trip, him and another little boy, <laughs> and I'll take them, and, and let me get him over to the apartment, and I'll uh, set they the whole thing up. They have to stay overnight with me. Yeah, even though uh, we, we want to get an early, early start. Early in the morning. But, yeah, even though mom lives five minutes from the rectory. Right. So Ralph goes into the room. The priest whips out a whole bunch of dirty magazines. This is what Ralph remembers. Okay. Him and the other little boy are looking at the dirty magazines. Uh, this must be some case the doctor's taking notes. Well, I have to write this down. Good. So I don't forget. Yeah, believe me. You, this story you ain't going to forget. I don't know how you could forget this story. Right. Yeah. The only I fishing write trip. Down what he remembers. Okay. He does remember. Yes. He remembers uh, looking the at. He remembers the I, magazines. I remember we're sitting down. He took out some magazines. He took out some magazines and he took out some toys. Is that correct? Yeah. And I didn't really. I didn't know what they were because right. at that age, okay. I'm not really familiar. Well, now you're very familiar. Yeah. 
And now he has them. <laughs> so the only fishing that was really going on was the fishing in Ralph's pants. So anyway, fishing for trout. So he trout. now claims after the father showed him the magazines to him and the little boy and showed him the toys, somehow it uh, was time for bed. He doesn't remember what happened after that. Okay. But it was time for bed. He remembers getting uh, ready for bed, changing. He doesn't remember the father watching him. I'm sure the father was looking at him. <laughs> if he wasn't watching, he had cameras somewhere. Right. So he, it's a very sad story, isn't it, Doctor? Yeah. Absolutely. And Ralph's laughing but crying on the inside. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Inappropriate response. Boy, the right doctor now. is cute. Yeah. Yo, yo, oh, yo. Get a... mm. You don't uh, hypnotize topless, do you? No. Too bad, because I'll, I'll go for a session right now. <laughs> I'm not doing it unless you tell me, you got you a nice body. Even hypnosis. Well, let me tell you something. You're a very attractive woman. Do you know that? Do you sit on my lap when we do this? No. <laughs> yeah, go, take it easy, will you? He's into guys. Don't even worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> this is how she hypnotized. She goes, look into my thighs. <laughs> mm. Mm. Very attractive. Oh. Mm. Very impressive. Oh, very beautiful. So no anyway, bra either, right, Doctor? Let's go on. You are wearing a bra? Out of time. Excuse me, Robert. I'm getting onto something important. <laughs> you are not wearing a bra, Doctor. Do you yes. admit that? Yes, I am wearing Oh, you are wearing a bra. I am. Beautiful. May I guess your measurements? 36, 24, 36? Would I be far off? That's a wonderful guess. I'll go with that. Is that true? No. But it's a nice guess. 36C? Oh, no. No. No, I'm small. I'm a small girl. What are you, a B? Yeah, small B, actually. Really? Yeah. Mm, you look like a C. It's hard to tell. Well, thank she's... you. Very nice. Baggy. Yeah, I thought we were running out of time. <laughs> Hold on one <laughs> second. There's always time for this. <laughs> <laughs> your jeans are very tight, may I say that? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yes, they are. Might are getting tighter. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. No, no. All right, so let's get down to it. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So anyway, Robin. all Ralph remembers is that somehow... Well, hold a second, Robin. Let me get to the rest of the... Wait a second. Let me get to the well, story. Well, you taking so much time figuring out her bra size. What, are you in a rush? Yes, yeah. Friday. Yeah, okay. Where are you going? <laughs> Beautiful black hair. Okay. I'm not doing it unless she gets in lingerie. <laughs> Big eyes. Do you, you doing do, it. Do you have to stare in someone's eyes? No. No, none of that? Okay. Because no. you have very... Are you big like Dracula? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a, a little yeah, watch that they eyes. have to... <laughs> no, look I at? don't. No. All right, all right. Great. Doctor, so let me tell you the rest of the story. So Ralph somehow ends up uh, getting ready for bed. He doesn't remember what happened in between there. Uh, the, the priest invites him into the bed, but Ralph says he goes on the floor... He said, you can either sleep in the bed or you can sleep on the floor. You know, right. there's plenty of room in the bed. Come on in. And now, meanwhile, the other little boy and the father were in the bed already. You dig? Okay. All right. You, you with me? Yeah. Ralph claims he... Friend, the other little boy was his friend? Uh, no. No. He, he was met? somebody... No, I knew him. I went to school with him, but... An he acquaintance. Was like a, he was like oh. a, a, yeah. a grade or two above me. Right. Okay. And uh, lo and behold, Ralph claims he fell asleep on the floor that night. And in his underwear. But I heard... I heard, no, I heard noises. I heard, like... And I was just... It was freaking me out. I was just trying to ignore it, you know? Right. And I'm, I'm trying to convince myself, no, this isn't weird. No, he's just coughing. You know what I mean? The, and then you went on the fishing trip. Did you see the father after that? On any other subsequent occasions? No. You did not? Now, don't you think that's a little I mean, strange that all have, of a sudden you didn't? I mean, I, I saw him. I mean, I might have gone to counseling with him. You still I, went to counseling? I don't know. You I don't, don't know. know. I can't sure. remember. Now, can't doctor, remember. in your humble opinion, isn't that a little weird? Isn't there yeah. something being blocked here? I think so. Yeah. Well... But what do you mean? In other words, after a traumatic experience, like going it on this fishing he trip. He didn't rape me. If me. he raped me, it would have been traumatic. He whipped out the oh, magazine. But notice right that you do bed. not, excuse me, You're notice that you do it. not, notice that you do not remember seeing him during the time after the magazines and uh, during the time of changing. I saw him all the time. He was in the, the You saw him all the time. You, did, did you go to counseling afterwards? I don't remember. You don't remember going you know, I don't remember. I don't remember. Why would, counseling I don't stop, remember why would counseling stop all of a sudden after? Well, because if it did, the fishing I, trip. It, it may have. And if it did, because I just didn't want to be around him. And I would want and to what be about your mother? Didn't she want, was oh, she I wasn't in your, asking for it. Wasn't your mother still interested in you going to fishing trips? I mean, wasn't she interested in you uh, hanging my, around no, the father? You didn't ask if, how if the fishing trip went. I would just, uh, you know, if, if my, mom, my mom wasn't anyone who made me do things. You were you know? a, did, did you have a mother? I mean, <laughs> was she involved at all in any of this? Yes. In any kind of guidance? <laughs> Not only do you have rocks in your head, you have blocks in your head. Blocks and blocks and blocks. You know what the forgetting whether he had counseling or not can be? Of course. The relationship. Of counseling. course. The whole love affair, Robin. <laughs> Robin, you know you've uh, been under hypnotherapy. What, what kind of counseling was it? Uh, yeah, it was Nude. Just, it's just somewhat... <laughs> Nude counseling, doctor. What kind of counseling? Uh, doctor, just to, just to talk about what was bothering me, things like, if, you know, you just somebody to talk to. I don't remember. You know I was how old in, you were? I was in maybe sixth grade. 
Oh, you were older than I thought. I was listening the day that you were talking about it, and you sounded younger that day. Let me ask you something, Doctor. <laughs> if he was younger, you could almost understand not remembering. You're saying now that yeah, he's I older. Yeah, he's like five, you know? Right. But see, he's an 11 year old yeah, kid. 11. Oh, no. I was in fifth or sixth grade. How old are you? 10 oh, or 11. 12. Yeah. Okay. What is that, Jackie? Yeah, I don't even remember that. You're about 12. Jackie, I can't hear you, pal, without a mic. No, but I, I thought, thought you knew that. No, I thought the first mm. day he said seven. Yeah, no. no. And obviously, he's growing in age. Oh, huh? <laughs> oh, that's a different what? story. Sixth what? grade. Where Remember, you know, Ralph, shut up. Who is you? I tell Jackie to shut up. Why? Because look at how this makes him oh. upset. Because it, Doctor, like, do you ever like see amazed. this agitation? He's got this yeah. fake look of amazement on his face. Why do you get well, agitated? Why are you so... I never saw you get agitated like are this. Are you interested in trying to find out if there's anything repressed? <laughs> <laughs> the doctor Howard, wants to point, know... My point is, if you're seven years old, that's a long time ago, you wouldn't right. remember why you wound up on the floor. And of course. At 11... In sixth grade, uh, I, remember, I wouldn't know why I was on that floor and how uh, that was course. determined. Of course. Of course. I, I, remember, make make... I remember what happened. What are you saying? No, you I don't. don't. I remember. What, what happened what? after you saw the magazines and the uh, rubber toys? Yeah, what was the transition that I made what, you wind up on the floor? Maybe I got a drink of water and I went to... It was time maybe. to go to bed. Where did you change? I can't remember getting a drink of water. Where did, Where did you change? Where did you change? Do you know? No, I don't. Do you remember how you, remember you ended up on the floor? On any specific day? When the priest raped me? I absolutely do. <laughs> so you go to get a glass of water and you come back and the choice is do I get in the bed or do I lie on the floor? And you choose right. to lie on the floor. That's and how do you sleep oh, through okay, that? Okay, so that's what it, we looked at magazines. I got a drink of Are water. You, the doctor asked you a relevant question. Are you interested in restructuring the events that happened on that night, that fateful night? Because they're all in there. I'm, I'm not interested, but you seem to be interested. Are so you interested? It. Not really. It, it, oh, no, come no. on, Ralph. You've got to be interested. We can't hypnotize Let me ask you another question. Are you curious? I'll, re I'll reword my question. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Strike the previous question from the record. Well, are you interested in rewording? I mean, excuse me. Are you interested in finding out if there was any sort of thing that happened to you that you possibly repressed? Are you kind of curious about it? Well, if something ha say it. If something happened... And I repressed. I'd like to know about it, but nothing happened. Oh, so you would oh, like, to know. Like, to know. Me, like to know. Excuse me. We know nothing know. happened, but would you be interested in re restructuring those things just to see if anything happened? So just out of curiosity. Sure nothing happened. Would you be interested in that? I, I don't care. Whatever you want to do. Right? Okay, so that would be... You want me to be, do yeah. it, I'll yeah. do it. No, I, I don't care. I'm not excited I can help make a mistake. you got to understand something. The doctor can't help you unless there's a willingness. Unless I want to be helped? Yes. Don't you? Aren't you curious to see what happened? Not really, because I, I, you know... Well, I don't maybe you're afraid. Are you Let me ask you another Man. question. No, are you afraid, afraid no. to find out what happened? No. She's not going to make something up, right? No. No, no she's 100% yeah. legitimate. No, she's yeah. wearing uh, petroleum oil. <laughs> what, I smell it over here, yes. What I'm afraid of is what else you're going to do to me when I'm under it. No. Else. Doctor, will you now give us your solemn word that you will do nothing else throughout oh. the, the, that this is strictly an exploratory mission to find Absolutely. out what's in the deep bowels of his mind? Absolutely. I'd like to explore the doctor. Well, it uh, does hey now. <laughs> He obviously is attracted to you, doctor. Something I'm yeah, sure you've heard I'm of. Attracted to you. Patient Can transference. Still do it? <laughs> I think this is a big cover up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, yeah you're you're, you're attracted to the. I think you're attracted to the doctor's boyfriend. What do you think of that? <laughs> I think it's a big cover up. He's cute. He's cute. That's right. There you go. Does he look like the priest? Mm, actually, he oh. does. Hmm. <laughs> Lucky you. Is he what? Is he the priest? No. No. You're being silly now. I'm being silly now. Okay. Okay. Doctor, so, get on that microphone. Uh, Jackie refuses to put it in front of your face. Right. Go ahead. So you think you're interested at least in exploring this then? Sure, sure. Okay. We'll um, see what happens. All right. Can you tell me, what did they call you back then? Did they call you Ralph? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> they call you Ralph or by they another name? They called him Renee. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> <laughs> what did they call you? <laughs> Ralph. No. And you say you were 11 then. Uh, 11 I don't know years exactly. old. All right, what street did you live on then? Well, maybe you don't uh, want to give yeah, that. Homo <laughs> or, or where did this happen? Smart I have to road. take you back to where this happened, and I want to be able to say something that will trigger that scene in your mind. Well, you're not living there anymore, this street, right? Uh, uh, so what street you, were you are living Are you going to do this right now? No, she's just asking some questions. Don't be so uptight. Uh, I'm scared. Dean Road. All right. Well, Dean. Okay. Butt Scout. <clears throat> oh! I was in the Boy Scouts there. Oh, of course man. you were. <laughs> <laughs> Boy Scouts, great. You know what? If I had a son, I'd never send him to a Boy Scouts. Ralph wasn't a son. He was a picnic. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, I went on a camping trip. We Just be quiet before. and stop being nervous and let the answer the doctor's <laughs> questions. Go ahead, doctor. I apologize. If you have any sort of a traumatic memory here and it really does upset you, would you be willing to get professional help afterwards? <laughs> That's easy. 
That's a no-brainer. Well, of course you, you would, right? What do you, you say? Why, why are you asking <laughs> me that? It's why, very clear. What if there's something in that she finds and you find and you get very, very upset and agitated? Are you willing to seek professional help? Sure. Okay. Sure. Answer the question, you retard. Sorry, doctor. What do you say? What do you say? <laughs> Tell the doctor, and when you're in the Boy Scouts, you got a merit badge for sucking. <laughs> that's that's uh, relevant, isn't it, doctor? Ho ho ho! You don't think so, <laughs> doctor? Ask more questions. I find it fascinating. The whole world of hypnotherapy. Yes. Are you afraid of heights? Yes. You are. Okay. Oh boy! What does that tell you, doctor? Hagen. <laughs> <laughs> Homo. Oh, it's no, so much no. more fun when it's somebody else. No, no. <laughs> Can we get Gorilla back in here? Of course he's afraid of eyes. It probably happened to the, Everyone knows. Go ahead, yes. The reason I asked him that question is because I normally take people back in time on a cloud. Ooh. And if they're not comfortable on a cloud because they're up in the air... Yeah, you better keep him on the no, ground. I, he's lighting the shoes. He likes clouds. I'm not like afraid. <laughs> like, I, I could handle that you cloud handle thing. That like the idea of being... You'd be okay. Uh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this is a guy who smokes a lot of pot. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of freeze. <laughs> he walked around in a cloud. <laughs> All right. And yeah. When, you're, when you see, if you see anything in, in your past, you will be observing this from a distance. I'd like to suggest to you that you'll be observing it from a distance, kind of like you're watching a movie, so that it won't upset you. And maybe we can... Uh, Maybe we can come up with some kind of an image for you, some kind of a shield that you can use, or some kind of a... Yeah, like a butt eye like, 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 over his ass. Like Captain America. Yeah, what do you want? Yeah. You want a shield that'll protect you? Do you want to be inside of a bubble, or do you want to hold a shield in front of you? What kind of image do you this like? This is cool. Can I just be me? I mean, no. I, well, How about a dental dam? No! Oh. <laughs> Once you be in a bubble, you retard. But it's just it. Stop it. Oh, you want a cross? A cross. Ooh. You want to mm. hold a cross, or, or no, what? You want to be surrounded in a cross? What do you want? Is there a cage? Do you want to be in a what? bubble? When, the, when Do you want to be in a bubble for protection? I don't know. Protection? I don't need to be in a bubble. No, if there's something upsetting you and you need protection, would you mind protection. being in a bubble? I can handle it. What is a nice imagery uh, for you? Uh, Will you stop it, Ralph? Just come on. Go dude. with it. So What's go wrong with, with it. Go with it. If it's so right. silly, you're obviously afraid of finding out you're a homo. All right, all right. What do you want me to tell me? Well, a draft. What would you feel? It's up to you. Do you like a bubble? No. You faggot? No. Ah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> i got to shock him into this. I'm Would sorry. Would you I like apologize. a shield? A bra. No. A bra? A bra. <laughs> a pair of panties and a bra. A so you give him magic panties and bra? Panty shield. No, bra. would you like a bubble? Come on, let's move no, this along. No, I don't want a what bubble. What would you like? I don't want anything. You, you, want bird you don't want you, you know what? You, know, you are uh, genuinely stupid, Ralph. And I'm going to tell you why you're stupid. You, you, uh, you sound like your father. You know what? That's right, I do. And you know what? My father made a lot of sense. You could have used a father as beside a priest. Let me tell you something. <laughs> If she says to you, there might be a point where you get agitated or upset, and you, we, we give you imagery of protection, what about a bubble? Just say yes, since you can't come up with anything else. All right, I'll go for the bubble. Yes, you stupid ass. You know how you have to explain everything? God, he's like a retard. You're dumb. Get into it. Have you ever been under hypnosis before? Um, Look at this. Every question's like, like a Like a comedian kind of, you know, a situation, like hypnosis. a stage hypnosis. Yeah. Right, right. But not hypnotherapy. It's sort no. of like a profound relaxation. Are you aware of what it's like at all? Have you ever seen it? Mm, no. Okay. No. It's nothing to be afraid of, all right? Um, I don't want to get real technical, but it's because it's probably boring, but you're in a state called theta. And what that cool. is, is the same. I'm as, in that state all the time. <laughs> it's the same as just when you're waking up or just when you're falling asleep. So you're very familiar with that state. You've been yeah. there before. I've been in that state. I, I walk around in that state. Yeah. He's really slow. Okay. So. And so I'm tired all, today. Too, so that so doesn't. Yeah. That'll be cool. Right. right. That's all it is. It's just a, a profound state of relaxation so that we can bring your subconscious mind to the foreground. Now, but, Doc, but, let me but, ask you a question. What is it? The kind of thing wh when I'm when I'm saying when I'm talking do I. Do I remember it, or will I... Yes, you'll probably remember it. At any moment, you could stand up and say, I don't want to do this anymore. You're never out of control. Mm -hmm. All right? Doc, let me ask you a question. How long does the process take, would you say? So if we did the news while you were in the other room with them, I although I would like to hear you actually when, once you get them under. Well, I was going to say maybe I could suggest that we bring him back to a point again. I could say, when I count three, two, one, you will come to this one point that we were in the other room, and maybe we can kind of like encapsulate a little Ooh, bit of it. Cool. But don't right. you think if we do it on the air, then I'll be weird about You know what I mean? No, once you're under, I don't think it matters. Harder. If you as take long him. If you relax, it'll be yeah. okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. So she'll take you in the other room, hypnotizing junk, and get you into it. And then when you get to some good stuff, like when the priest starts doing stuff to you, yeah. we'll get you in here yeah. for it. <laughs> All right? I think you're going to be disappointed. Well, well fine. Okay. We just want to find it. not remember anything. That's, That's fine, right. too. That's fine.
Ralph, no yeah, one's... Yeah, Ralph might, might trying have to help you do. Now, wait a second. Very, wait a second. Deep. What if... What if I remembered something? Yeah. And like, oh, I'm coming out, you know, I, you're taking me back and I remember something and then I don't want to tell you. Do I, do, am I, will I tell you anyway? Can I? You can won't, I, unless you want to, but usually when you're that relaxed and you're trusting me, you probably will. I trust you, doctor. Oh, don't you I want to tell me something? Me, <laughs> I want to tell you something. You want to know what I want to tell you? Uh, uh, you don't have to put me under. I'll tell you. <laughs> I'd like to tie you to my bed, make out with you, and then do some stuff to you that would really get you relaxed. What do you think of that? If I get upset, will you hold me? <laughs> no. <laughs> Believe me, no one wants to hold you, you scraggled tooth. Hey, come on. Come All right, let's uh, let's take a break, Robin. All the right. The doctor's going to go in the other room. Am I correct? And you're going to relax, Ralph. Yep. And um, and then as soon as you get going, just tell Gary, and we'll get hustle you right back in here during the news. Okay. Because this is big news. Absolutely. We're going to find out what happened to Ralph. All right. Let's find out for the first time Ralph butt smuggled. Oh. Hey, come on. See, now you're going to make me uptight about it. Oh, I'll be quiet. Okay. You're not uptight about anything. <laughs> Wouldn't you want to know if that happened to you? I'd yeah, like to maybe I could. I hope something happened, really, because then I could sue him, right? Yeah, That's yeah. we got a big that. case, absolutely. Yeah. Look at me. I'm a mess. I wish you'd put me under and find me something <laughs> to sue. <laughs> <You're a mess. laughs> I don't think you can blame the priest. Doc, can you put me under? In fact, can you put me under you right now? <laughs> Imagine we find out Ralph was engaged at age 11 to the priest. <laughs> like, was living with him for two years. Yeah. He was married in the There could be a whole thing going on, right, Doc? I mean, you You've taken people who said nothing happened, nothing happened, and then you oh, do it and you find out yeah. stuff, right? Yeah. And also, to change the subject, I can also make uh, Mr. Grillo there feel a little better about himself, too. Can you? Yeah, he's got a bad self image. Can you help him? Yeah, yeah good. Yeah. Do me a favor, throw that in as well. Thank you, Doctor. It's a package deal. Thank you. All right, let me take a break. When we come back, you'll begin the news. Yes. We'll be waiting for Ralph to come back in. Wonderful. It's going to be an exciting potpourri of imagery and news. I just think this has been a very exciting show today. We've been doing good works all around. Yeah, we, we took Gorilla and almost made him suicidal. And Ralph will come back and find out that he was butt smuggling at age 11 and couldn't deal with it. I'm going to need professional help right. this afternoon. All right, we'll be back right after these words. Well, where is Ralph? Well, how long should I let them go? You know, the door's been closed for a while, and I, I realize it's sort of unfair to make a guy remember, you know, a molestation in half an hour. So how long should we I wouldn't before, know. Before well, I the, tap on the door? The hypnotherapist said she would... 20 minutes. Alert us, didn't she? Maybe yeah. she's getting some real dirt, and she, she Ralph can't be broken at this point. You know time. what? Ralph's probably in the middle of having his underpants removed by the good father. Oh, you think Ralph's in there crying now? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you go check up and see what's going on? Wow. Well, the door is shut. Should I knock? No, don't knock. Just like Come crack here. Yeah, the... they're not in there having sex. You told Ralph not to do anything goofy like fake. And... No, 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 no. It's all 100% on the, on the level. See if it comes out in tears. Oof. Yeah. All right, very good, Papa Fui. Give me an update. You know, what Papa are Fui. the odds Papa that you Fui. have to take Ralph home this weekend because he yeah. needs to be watched? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's on a ledge. All right, go ahead, Robin. You're in the middle of stories. Well, Greg Luganis made his big revelation. Uh, it's been rolling out over the week, and tonight his, his um, interview with Barbara Walters on 2020, the debate is now raging as to whether he endangered people's lives in 1988 by competing in the... Olympics, even though he knew he was HIV positive. No, he didn't put anyone at risk. He just bled all over the pool and <laughs> bled all over the doctor. And what is it, Gary? I, I have to apologize. I just cracked the door yeah. where Ralph is. Just a hair. Uh oh. Yeah. And <laughs> Ralph's nude in the priest's lap. Ralph is on the chair, like curled up in the fetal position. Yeah. Oh. And I don't know. He's got sunglasses on. I don't know what's going on. Really? Yeah. Oh. It's the weirdest looking thing. I've ever Go seen. listen some more and see what's happening. Okay. Yeah. Hear what he's, is he with the priest? Is he talking? No. It looked like he was almost sleeping. Really? Yeah, it was, it was real strange. Maybe she had to just like She's put Ralph on, deep into something because he came up with some awful revelation. He had he was like curled up in the fetal position. And he had like either his jacket or somebody's jacket like curled up in a ball, and he was sort of hugging like a it. security. Really? Yeah. Well, we're in the middle of hypnotizing oh, Ralph. In case you're just tuning in, we're in the middle of hypnotizing Ralph in the back room to remember what happened between him and the priest when he was 11 years old. And you know, I forgot to tell you, Dominic called earlier. This is the reason yeah. why people can't stand lawyers. He goes. Well, I don't think this is going to do anything, but if it does, we've got a real case against that priest. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? The doctor and Ralph are back in the room. Uh, okay. She's no doctor, but I call it doctor. Hypnotherapist. Right. Ralph, now, we only peeked in one time while you were being hypnotized, and you were in the fetal position on the couch curled <laughs> up with a, a blanket. With a blanket. Doctor, uh, do you want to speak? Should Ralph looks a little... I'm really tired back now. You got hypnotized, right? Yeah, you really went under. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I can remember what was happening. But... Doctor, what happened? Well, Ralph went under. Right. 
and he was very relaxed. He did remember some isolated, specific things that he hadn't remembered before. Is he still sleeping? Uh, probably halfway. He's probably You didn't still. take him out of the trance? He's out, but he, it takes a long time sometimes to completely recover. Dude, take I off your glasses. Let me see. Uh, it's really bright. I, Let me see. Take off your glasses. I can't, I can't take this light. Oh, it looks cool. <laughs> you look like a heroin addict. Yeah, this is better than drugs, Ralph, right? Ralph, are you going to fall out of the chair? <laughs> I don't know, man. I just, like, I can't Dude, try to it. snap out of it. Okay, you're on camera. <laughs> Sorry, man. Don't be goofy. I'm not being goofy. Yeah, and, and sit up and, and take your hand away from your head so I can see your face. So you're on camera. And, and, and sit up. Why are you yelling at him? Well, he's a, he's a moron. He's he knows I he's think, on. I think he's still 11. Oh, tired. <laughs> Are you still 11? Did you did you let him grow back up again? You did. Oh, yes. All right. Now, doctor, did you were the new revelation? You took Ralph under. Yeah. You took him back to the time of the priest. Right. What did you learn? Well, would it be right for you to disclose it? I would like Ralph to say what he learned. I see. Then okay. he'll say what he wants to say. I see. All right, Ralph. What did you learn? I did. I didn't learn anything different. I mean. I mean, I, I remember some specifics, like what the priest was wearing and, like, what the bed looked like and where I was sleeping. How his hands felt as they ran across your body. <laughs> was there any no, evidence of molestation, be, doctor? Are you serious? What? He did not I'm remember sorry. any molestation of himself. He remembered it of the other boy. Yes. So he witnessed it. Yes. He, he witnessed it to a point. It I was thought, dark in you, the room. you know, I remembered, I remembered um, seeing, like, like, like looking over, like I was in my sleeping bag, and I was sleeping there, or trying to go to sleep, and I remembered looking over, like like the bed was over on the side behind me. And I remember kind of like looking over and seeing like blankets and kissing and stuff. Uh, maybe yeah, rolling some, around, yeah, the rolling bed. around right. in the bed. The, the story that Ralph had uh, construed for us earlier was that he walks in, the priest shows him porno mags. Was that right. a, a recollection? Yes. Was he able to recall what these toys and everything were? He had some specific descriptions of toys. He, as an 11-year-old, he didn't know names for them, but he talked about what they looked like. And what, what were they? Something was egg, like egg-shaped. Like it a vibrator? Like, yeah, like, there was wires on it, and there was like a, like, like I don't know, maybe something where you put your fingers, like, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like was he able to recall things? after he looked at the toys and stuff what happened next? Uh, to a degree, he was blanking out on some on some. Spot I, it was it was more it was more a feeling of like, hey man, check out these magazines. Hey, check out these things out. It wasn't like, hey, let's let's use these things. It right. was just kind of like, hey, look what I got. Like, did the priest see him undress and stuff? Did we get to that? No, but I think that where he became uncomfortable was when the toys came out. He was pretty much okay with, with the, the magazines. magazines, and then when the toys yeah, came out, yeah, it was kind it was kind of cool, you know, like the priest is showing you some dirty magazines, and then. Then he starts taking out some things that I don't know what they did are. He, did he recall seeing the priest naked? No. He, he, he recalled seeing the priest in his underwear. Oh, he did. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's new. And the, there hey, you no. go. Hey, no. <laughs> and the, I just snapped out of it. And the priest was in the bed, and uh, he recalled... What was the boy wearing in the First, bed? the priest wasn't in the bed. First, right. he was standing around in his underwear. Right. And then the, the boy... To is he all right with you if I say what you saw? Yeah. yeah. Well, A after that, he saw the, the boy and the priest sitting very close together in the bed. I see. And he had decided at that point, they had invited yeah, they him were, to was, there's join There's plenty them. of room in here. Right. And kind he of said, no, he thought he would sleep on the floor yeah. in the sleeping bag. And he bed. did, in fact, he sleep did. in the sleeping bag. He did okay. get into the sleeping bag, the foot of the bed on the floor. Uh-huh. He said it was a very big bed and it was high. Uh-huh. And there were a lot of pillows and a lot of white blankets and things. Right. And then... The light. Somebody turned out the lights. He couldn't remember who. I, I think correct? the priest did. Yeah, he he like. Mm. You know, well, that, that, that was another. Th he he like when he went. He he went, leaned over to turn off the light and he like rolled like on top of this other guy. This he kid. Kinda like, yeah. Oh. Kinda like, this is something you didn't tell me before. No. Yeah. Just kind of. I can remember now. Mm -hmm. Wow. It does. It, it filters through piece by piece. He might remember more during the day today. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh dear. Oh, great. Well, you're going to be by yourself, Ralph? <laughs> it won't hurt you. Nah. So, in your professional opinion, was Ralph violated at all? As of now, I would say probably not. Really? Well, he was violated yeah. as a yeah, I child. Think, I, yeah. think yeah. like I think that's today. violated. Understood, but you know what I mean, the good I stuff. I see. Not that yeah. he was hands-on. Yeah, I'm not going for any of that psycho mumbo-jumbo. I'm talking about hands-on hands -on good old-fashioned molestation. Right. We're talking about a money shot. Yeah, right. <laughs> as of now, I say it sounds like not. 
I see. Um, now, was Ralph able to recall what happened, like how he got out of the priest's clutches, like why he didn't uh, continue seeking counseling, counseling and all of that? Yeah. Well, we didn't go heavily into that. I was trying to get him back to the memories of that night and the next day. And we talked a lot about the next day, too. I just... Like I said, my mom was easygoing, but if I didn't want to go to counseling, I didn't have to. I mean, she urged So all of a sudden, you just didn't want to? Yeah. Really I think not. he began to feel very uncomfortable about this person. And so you're saying as stupid as Ralph is, you knew enough to get away from the guy? Yeah. Okay. I, 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 I knew to stay, I knew to stay straight and stay on my sleeping bag. Was he able to recall what was in the magazines? Were they gay magazines? Naked or? pictures. Naked pictures of yeah. girls? Yeah. Girl, yeah. Oh, okay. girl, they weren't. They weren't like, what, did you know boys. Um, no. no, they weren't like young altar boys. In <laughs> no, 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 but I'm just wondering yeah. if it was the, the mainstream kind of uh, nudie magazine. Oh, or were they were like nudist colony. Beaver magazine. Hunt. Or yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. No, it wasn't Beaver Hunt. Yeah, yeah they were pretty hardcore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, hardcore, they were, okay. They weren't soft. Huh? <laughs> what a priest. <laughs> <laughs> Good guy. So, anyway, hey, you know, you're pretty good at this. Give it, you want a plug? You want to give your name and stuff? Well, my name is Pam Safari. Yeah. And I have a place in Sinking Spring, Pennsylvania called the Relearning Group. Cool. And I do uh, hypnotherapy there. I also teach courses to learn how to conquer anxiety and panic disorder. Wow. And Ralph's pretty stupid. I mean, he went right under, right? He's like a blank slate. He was good. He was very good. Yeah, so that means he's like a blank slate. Like, he, he's so easy, he just goes right under. I... I I He's mean, trusting. I, I think, think the stupider I'm you not. are, I think yeah, you're trusting. The priest saw that in you. <laughs> no. The stupider you are, the easier you go under. Well, that may be true, but I, I, I wasn't uh, like she couldn't have told me to do something, right. or, or, or I, I was it like a dream I though. Was, I was taught. Were no, you there? No, it was. It was. It would have been more comfortable if I was like laying down. I was like in this chair, and I was having to kind of position myself. And right. you know, I kept. That's why I was. Well, you want to go to her clinic? Is that what you're saying, Rob? Maybe you want to go visit the doctor at the. I'll visit the doctor at the clinic. <laughs> yeah, I don't need no hypnotherapy. Hey now. Hey now. <laughs> Your girlfriend's hot, dude. Well, he was interested in staying in that chair. I think that was part of his protecting himself to stay in that chair. He was a little like Connie Selica. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, he, uh, yeah. he was trying to um, protect himself by staying in an upright position for a while there. He gradually got into that. No, well, it was position. just an unco Yeah. What, did you notice that he got aroused in his pants yeah. when he was thinking about the priest? No, yeah, when he was talking about him standing absolutely there not. in his underwear. There was no bulge when he when he heard him uh, talking well, this about... The priest was like, oh, fat, too. He's oh, like, was he? Fat job. He wasn't guy. cute? No, he wasn't <laughs> like a Calvin Klein. He wasn't a Calvin Klein Because if he'd been like a Calvin Klein model, he might have gone for I it. I might have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't see very much agitation, though, that would indicate to me that maybe there was something there Trauma. that really was... Trauma. Trying to block out. just uh -huh. like, oh, this is really gross, and I don't want to Yeah, I just wanted to get at you know... How long does it take to teach someone how to, you know, do hypno therapy, you know, like, like how to hypnotize people, because I like to do that to girls. You know what, probably not. What girl? Can I, can I just say, well, you know, married man. You, please, to my wife. <laughs> it seems to can you teach, like, me how to hypnotize my wife so that she can rub her ear and have an orgasm? <laughs> she doesn't have to bother me for it anymore? No. You don't do any of that? I don't teach it. No, I'm not certified to teach. It takes, it took about 70 hours for me to learn what I know, and you can go and really? learn it from someone who's certified to teach. Because yeah, you got him right under. It just, no, so it can't I be that hard go, to I do. I didn't go under, I was just. Dude, you you talk, dude, did you everybody, hear you were under? Everybody says they didn't really go under. Yeah. Well, what, what, what is going under? I mean, what? Well, people usually expect something really heavy and profound, and it's not like that. Right, uh, you're just talking to me. Like, you, you're saying, look around the room, look around the... You're yeah. just getting me to think. But you're not really... But therapy, and what happened is... You're asleep. You you're in a sleepy your, state. Yeah, your subconscious mind comes to the foreground, and things happen that right. you remember them right. and whatever, because that's where you are at that time, that you couldn't, you couldn't have been there without the hypnotherapy. So you're not definitely saying that he didn't get raped by the priest, it's just that he doesn't remember it. He doesn't seem to have, according to what I saw. Right. I'm telling you, there's, if something like that happened... Dude, take remember. it easy, man. No one's... Yeah, no one's, don't get it. Hey, man. You're all cool, mellow. Cool down. <laughs> Staying relaxed and calm, remember? Yeah, Ralph. Do what she says. Don't fight everybody. Just stay relaxed, man. Be like you were with the priest. Get yeah. Out. Stay calm and relaxed. I'm he was my sick vibrating the next day. Egg. He got he was? sick. Yeah. He did. The next day. So he remembered coming back from the boat and lying in bed at this friend of the priest's house and being mm -mm. sick and taking Pepto Bismol and all this kind of thing. And the priest coming in to check on him. But again, he doesn't Ooh, remember anything whoa. happening there. They had a pump Ralph's stomach. <laughs> I was so sick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he remembers the priest coming he in? He remembers him checking on him, but that's it. He and how did the priest check on him? He just asked him how he was <laughs> did doing. He take My rectal temperature? temperature. <laughs> did he take rectal temperature? That's what I heard. Like an animal, Ralph? <laughs> <laughs> Sacramental wine. Uh -huh. Well, anyway, it sounds pretty good. It sounds what pretty zegzy. What don't you know, Jackie? I don't know either. 
Where's the Sounds like round two. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is a lot more than we got before. We didn't know about Ralph's stomach ache. Yeah, we didn't know you were ill. <laughs> yeah, well, you guys aren't sensitive with me. Like, no, I wonder what was in his stomach that made him ill. Right. Yeah, wonder what they had to pump out of there. Oh. Let me rub your belly, Ralph. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if there were any human fish uh, in oh. your uh, stomach. Oh. Any little swimmers. Any swimmers in there. Oh. Any tadpoles. Oh. Well, anyway, thank you for uh, taking him under. This was fascinating. We got a look into the mind of Ralph, which is always frightening. It was empty. <laughs> it was empty as usual. You came up empty. <laughs> I told you there was nothing in there. <laughs> but it was a new experience for you to think. I wouldn't mind going to a hypnotherapist like her, man. Now, that's my idea of therapy. Hey, maybe you can tell your wife you're going into, you know, hypnosis. Yeah, and that's you can do problem. stuff to me while I'm hypnotized, and then it wouldn't be considered cheating. And she, and she, talks, she talks to you really sweet and soft. Oh. Does she kiss you? Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah, but not just on the well. cheek. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Man, I did I didn't that. even need to touch him. I asked permission if I could touch his wrist or his shoulder, but he didn't need that. He didn't get upset. Right. Only if you're I think I found a loophole for cheating. I'm going to sign up with the doctor for extended therapy. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to get rid of my sexual repression. And while I'm under, just do stuff to me. Don't even tell me about it. It's part of the treatment. And I swear to God, we'll be alone. No one will ever know. I'll never accuse you of sexual harassment. He It'll be perfect. He forget. How soon can I start my therapy? <laughs> can we start right now? Get rid of that guilt in a second. Yeah, in a second. Now, well, doctor, obviously, you're attractive. And we've responded to your looks as well as your talent in the hypnotherapy really? field. That was very good. Give yourself another plug if someone wants to get in touch with you. My name is Pam Safari. It's called the Relearning Group in Sinking Spring, Pennsylvania. Area code 610-670-7020. All right, very good. You certainly helped Ralph. You helped him to uh, relax. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. All right, thank you. All right. <laughs> Ralph, uh, get the headphones off and escort our two guests to where the Gary waiting area is. Maybe she'll work on Gorilla a little. Yeah, he oh. still needs your help. Yeah, he's got a self-esteem problem. You're not kidding. Okay. What? Don't bring... What are you, like a hippie or something? No. You're not a hippie? No, I just happen to like that smell. You do? The... No, I mean, you're just kind of hippie-ish. You know, you're into, like, relearning and, and all that. That's cool. I dig hippie chicks. Hey, that's my thing. But could you tell her not to raise Gorillo's uh, don't raise... self-esteem too much? Uh, doctor, don't raise Gorillo's self-esteem too much, <laughs> or else he won't be funny on the air anymore. He'll still have to be an intern. Mm, very attractive. Ooh. I might go over there for a little relaxation therapy. <laughs> I think that's the way yeah, to have some sex. You had some anxieties you needed to relieve yourself of. If there's any hot-looking hypnotists out there who... You'll go to a different one every week. Yeah, I'd like to like, get a whole cadre of therapists. A lot of childhood to remember. You're not kidding. A lot of years. I used to bury my underpants in my parents' backyard. I need help. Underpants. Underpants. 